Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to test sky selection in both Lightroom and Photoshop to see which one performs better. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. When Adobe first released Sky Selection inside of Lightroom, I was really curious. I wondered if it would perform better, the same, worse than Photoshop. So let's test it by pressing K on our keyboard in order to access the mask panel. And we're just going to choose select sky. So Lightroom is detecting the sky. It has made the selection. We can't see that. So what I'm going to do is show the overlay. You can either click the checkbox or press O on your keyboard to toggle the overlay on or off. And instantly when I look at this, I think to myself, wow, Lightroom did a really good job selecting between our subject here, on the edges, everything looks really good. If you then would want to make changes, you could say, for instance, maybe pull down on the exposure, add a little bit more saturation. Let's press O to make sure that overlay does not come back on. And again, you can make any adjustments you wish to this image just to improve the sky. I must admit, I was pleasantly surprised at how well Lightroom did with this. Now, let's jump over to Photoshop and see how it performs. The first thing I'm going to do inside of Photoshop is press Command or Control J in order to duplicate the background layer. Next, I'm going to choose Select and then Sky. I'd also like to mention that my good friend Nicole Begley shot this image while she was teaching a workshop in France. I can see that Photoshop made the selection because I can look at the marching ants and see where they are located on the image, but I can't really tell if it did a good job. So I'm going to add a layer mask by clicking the icon at the bottom of the layers palette. Then I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on the keyboard because I just wanna see that mask. And it actually does look like it did a really good job. But you know how we can really tell? Let's quickly add a curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to hold down Alt or Option again and clip that adjustment layer to layer one. Next, I'm just going to pull down on the curves and you'll see it's just impacting the sky because I clipped it to that mask. And it looks like Photoshop did a really good job with that sky selection. And by the way, if you're feeling overwhelmed with Lightroom or Photoshop, make sure you check out our extensive courses inside of our FAM. That's what we call the Flourish Academy membership. Just go to flourish.academy slash membership for more info. Okay, why don't we take a quick look at what this selection looks like next to the selection in Lightroom. So we have this ruby light overlay, the pink overlay just indicates the selection in Lightroom. And if we look at this Photoshop document, if I hold down Alt or Option, I can look at the mask. So I can see that they both did a really good job of finding the sky. Okay, so what have we learned? They both perform really well. I will say this. If I am only making adjustments to the sky, I am absolutely going to do that inside of Lightroom because it is going to be faster and non-destructive. If I need to replace the sky, then I'm going to do that inside of Photoshop. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.